folks. I thought I'd show you a couple of real simple knots. Actually three very important knots in the rigging world. Knots that I learned mill riding and rigging. I worked for outfits that if you rig something and you had to pick it up twice you were fired. So rope's pretty important. A lot of things are picked up with chains, a lot of things are picked up with cable or wire rope, using shackles and clevises. But a lot of stuff is done with ropes when you know what kind of knot to use. So the three most important knots, and there's lots and lots of knots, but this video is about these three. First of all, the simple bowline. Bullen knot. Now you can take that knot, throw it over a hitch, and pull on that until the rope breaks. And you can come back and still untie the knot. You can't, it won't get so tight you can't untie it. So that's a bullen. Another important knot is what if I want to hook say to the, the camera to the hitch and I have a hundred foot long rope and I don't want to put a bowline at, at both ends and have all this rope I want to use the middle of the rope make it shorter. Well, you tie a simple overhand knot then you put your hand through the loop, you reach in and you grab the right side, pull that through, and now you have a bullet in the bite. It looks like that. And you don't have to it's not for pulling on both sides. Remember you're going to grab the middle of the rope and now you can pull on that really hard until the rope breaks if you want. Really tug on that. And the, the knot will never get so tight that you can't untie it because it's a bowling in a bite. A lot of folks, you hand them that knot and they don't know how to untie it without going all the way to the end of both ends of the rope. But really you just turn it inside out on itself. And that is a bullet in the bite. Now the last knot I want to show you is the most important knot. Now this knot is so important it's, it's caused a, actually some points of contention and well, quite literally, a lot of laughter and sometimes fist fights. So it starts with a simple bullen. Now this knot is actually called the dragon bullen. It's a mysterious knot. It's a complicated knot. Now I tie a dragon bullen with the tag on the inside. My dad ties a dragon bullen with the tag on the outside of the knot. I think it's a little neater putting it on the inside of the knot. Don't you? Now, in order to demonstrate a dragon bowling, you have to take that and you throw it out there like that. Let me get the camera and zoom in on this so you can see what's really going to happen. Now that's a bowling, and now it's a dragon bowling. Hope that helps somebody. Have a great day.